Hello friends, Safari Jeff here once again. Thanks for joining me on Safari Jeff TV. You know, I grew up in the great outdoors of Eastern Ontario and biophilia is the experience you get when you experience nature firsthand. The Ontario wetlands rival any rainforest worldwide with its biodiversity during the summer months. So join me now and experience the biophilia in the great outdoors of Eastern Ontario. plays a tremendous role in the water levels here in eastern Ontario. The water level can have a great impact on various species, be it their success rate in springtime or the abundance of food supply. Right now, it's about time we get our feet wet and explore the wetlands. Here's a lucky find, the northern water snake of eastern Ontario. The northern water snake is actually one of the largest of snakes found here. I've seen some over four feet in length and about as thick around as my wrist. They primarily feed upon fish and frogs, other aquatic creatures, and unlike many snakes, have a tremendous ability to see below the surface of the water, which makes them quite aggressive when out of their element upon land. Many aquatic snakes are typical of this behavior, so always handle with care. But for me, a lucky find today. And we'll let this one get back to his business of hunting along the shoreline. trees of a boreal forest that have become rotten or decayed in time make for a perfect habitat for salamanders. There's a variety of species here in eastern Ontario to discover as well. And the swampland just behind this forested area makes for a perfect breeding ground in the summer months. I spent an awful lot of time discovering salamanders beneath the surface. It's almost like finding gold in a treasure hunt. The biophilia that you experience compares to none other. Here we go. Here's one. All right. I'll place them on some bark to give a better view. The red-backed salamander. The red-backed salamander is fairly common here. There are a variety of other species. The yellow-spotted salamander is the largest of salamanders here in the region. And this little guy still has some growing left to do. They can uh, be at least two, three, even four times larger than this. Redback salamanders are fantastic. A long, lengthy tail, but like all other salamanders, need to be kept in moist or damp conditions always. Uh, they could easily dry out. So you'd certainly never catch or see a salamander uh, walking across dry landscape during sunlit days, uh, but more so during the evening or during a rainfall is best uh, to discover salamanders. Another lucky find, and we'll put this little creature back where he belongs in his original home. Amazing. lucky find the eastern garter snake a young one as well a smaller one maybe uh, two years old you know the eastern garter snake is magnificent these uh, these snakes are quite common naturally throughout eastern Ontario it's not unusual to find them roaming along or crossing alongside of a road uh, such as this little specimen was doing uh, not too far from a swamp just behind me so most likely on the hunt uh, just before winter season trying to fill up before hibernation on uh, small fish or frogs as well. So, yet again, an amazing animal. I love snakes. Well, that's all the time we have for today on another episode of Safari Jeff TV. I hope you had an exciting adventure with me and experience the great outdoors. There's nothing like biophilia. The, uh, the amazing experience and feeling that you get uh, by getting in touch with nature firsthand. It gives you a much better appreciation and understanding 
of the environment that we share with these magnificent creatures, and my favorites, naturally, the reptiles and amphibians. So join me next time on Safari Jeff TV for yet again another exciting adventure with some incredible creatures such as these.